Hello, Pastor Dwayne here with my beautiful bride, Cameron. We're excited to bring you into one of our Miracle Hub services. We have these services on the fourth Thursday of each month, and we would love for you to join us in person at the Edge Church, located at 6702 TP White Drive in Cabot, Arkansas. The Miracle Hub service we will be sharing with you this week features our good friend, Tony Allen Bates. Tony has a powerful testimony, and he's gonna play some music and then share an incredible message with us you don't want to miss it. If I took off running and you just stood here, how many of y'all have the faith that I could hit her as hard as I can and she won't move? <laughs> None of you do, right? Right, 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 right. But here's the thing what I could do, what I could do is I could give her a badge and I could put the Arkansas State Police hat on her and I could deputize her by a power that is beyond her. She just represents something. So now even me and my truck, just stick your hand out like that. Me and my truck driving down the road at 55 miles an hour. I come up to her. She doesn't have the physical ability. He gave them the power to come against the unclean spirits and to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and disease. That's Matthew 10, 1 uh, for the media team. She doesn't have the physical power to stop my truck. She's just operating in excusia, in authority. Because now she don't only have to say, stop. She can actually tell me to get out of the car. See the difference? She doesn't have the physical ability to stop my car from running over, but she's been deputized by a higher authority. Come on, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. That is good. See, and you have too. Do I have any believers in the house? Come on, make some noise. Any believers in the house? Woo! Yeah! Woo! Because these signs shall follow them that believe. They shall lay hands on the sick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who's they? The people that just clapped. Woo-hoo, that's me. Say, they is me. Uh-oh. These signs shall follow them that believe. Remember I just said, are there any believers in the house? Amen. And y'all went. <laughs> they shall lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. They shall cast out demons. Yes. They'll speak with new tongues. Yes. If they pick up any deadly thing, it shall not otherwise hurt, harm them. Amen. Amen. I ain't telling you to go out here and buy snakes and see what happens. <laughs> Have I told you that stupid people bother me? Amen. <laughs> Yeah, so at my house, we live in this overwhelming, outrageous love of God. Do I have a medicine cabinet full of medicine? Yep, but my first call is Jesus. Do you know I wear contacts? Medicine in my eyes helps me see. When I take my contacts out, I put my glasses on. I ain't preaching against doctors. I'm just saying our first call should be J.C., Dr. J.C. Our first knee-jerk reaction should be, let's talk this over with Jesus. What's the Word say concerning this? Here's what the Word says. You are healed. You are delivered. It's been bought and paid for. And you can sit there with your arms folded and your, and your attitude saying, well, he ain't done it yet. 
and you think it's his fault. Hey, Jesus, how come this ain't happened? This kind only comes out with prayer and fasting. Do I'm saying you have to fast to be healed? No. I think he satisfied all that. But sometimes you've got to get yourself away from the reports and away from the pity party and just get right to Jesus and say, I believe, help my unbelief, and he's going to ask you to do a thing. He's going to ask you to give him your problem. That's what he asked the man. That thing's going to manifest as soon as you make up your mind to surrender it to Jesus. It ain't leaving without a squall. Y'all know what a squall is, right? It ain't leaving without making some noise. You can stand in 100 prayer lines, get back in your car, and the devil say, well, <laughs> not tonight either. Have to wait for the next healing hub. See, you don't have to wait at all. Amen. Healing is here. Amen. Healing is now. Amen. 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 All right, so who has the shoulder issue? Right here. Who's got it? All right, all right, all right, stand up. So, in the name of Jesus, I reject this report. What the doctors have told you about this shoulder. And in the name of Jesus, I rebuke this attack in your body, all of you all over this place. And in the name of Jesus, we reverse this curse that has been set up against you. And in the name of Jesus, we release the manifestation of your healing. And we command your body to be made whole right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, do something with your shoulder that you couldn't do before you stood up. Right? Right? You see how easy that is? So, if you can't do it in the church house, how are you going to do it at Walmart? That happens at Walmart? I walk through, I walk through, I walk through the checkout line. A little girl had a pentagram tattoo on her thumb right here. As soon as I got in her line, she started growling at me. <sighs> the boy that was with me said a few things. He's scared to death. I leaned in real quiet, didn't make a scene. And I said, I see you. Do you not get offended when the devil tries to freak you out? Are my eyes and ears going to believe a thing or am I going to know that I am a son of God who hears his voice, I operate in his authority, I walk in his favor? Do I believe it or not? And I said, I can help you with this. And she shook it off. She said, I think you need to go, sir. I said, are you sure? But I can pour oil on you for a month. If you don't want this, it ain't happening. That's true. Amen. We was walking out of Walmart. My buddy said, did you hear her growl? I said, yeah, did you see me laugh? <laughs> Do you not know who you are? Amen. I'm weird to church people. I really am because church people wants me to, you know, help them feel bad. You can't hire me as a mourner. <laughs> All right. So, if you've got something going on in your body and you came tonight to release this, to, to, to get your healing, tonight's your night. And here's how we're going to do this. Can I do it this way? Any way I want? That's the way I want it any way I want. If you've got something going on that you need Jesus to heal your body, just stand up. Just stand up. Take your time. Don't, don't. I've already been healed. Amen. Yeah. All right. So, 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 Mark says, Jesus said, these signs shall follow them that believe. 
they shall lay hands on the sick. So this is what I want you to do. For those of you who are standing, I just want you to raise your hand. And for those of you who are sitting, find someone with their hand raised and go to them. All right. There's people back here, people behind you. There's others. All right. If, 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 if no one's with you right there, could, could, could you just put up both hands so I can see you? Is, okay. All right. All right. Now, now, this is what I want you to do. For those of you who are praying, we're going to make this, we're going to make this quick, okay? Listen, for those of you who, who are praying, ask them nice, what's your problem? Okay, just ask them. What do, you, what do you need me to come into agreement with, all right? All right, don't, don't tell them your life story. Just tell them what your problem is. Because we have to name it so that we can make it bow at the name of Jesus. All right, all right. All right, so as soon as, as, soon as we get... So, so now, those of you who are praying, for those who have their hands up, I, I, listen, 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 for those of you who are praying... I want you to say this. I want you to say, Heavenly Father, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we reject this report. We rebuke this attack. We reverse this curse. And in the name of Jesus, we release the manifestation of their healing, their deliverance, and their restoration. In Jesus' name, In Jesus name. Amen. amen. Now, those of you who had your hand up, do something now that you couldn't do before concerning whatever we just prayed about. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to celebrate, right? We're going to celebrate, right? Look, this is not emotional. This is intentional. Right. <laughs> Amen. So, so, so for just a minute, I'm going to tell the media team, I need, to, I, need, I need you to mute my mic for just a second to the media team. Amen. Amen. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Have a seat, just for a second. If your testimony is this, that tonight God healed your body, it may be an act of faith or whatever, but your testimony is, I didn't, I'm not leaving like I came in Jesus' name. I want you to stand up if that's your testimony. Hallelujah. Oh, man, some of y'all just patty caking. We didn't just make a par putt. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Glory. Glory. Now, 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 now. Sit down. Sit down. Everybody stand up. Everybody sit down. How many more times? Okay. Everybody stand up. 
Now sit down. What are we doing? We're operating in faith. What are you talking about? Well, you believe that chair is going to hold you. Stand up. What you don't know is that there are multiple chairs in this sanctuary that have bad legs. You may be on one that's not manifesting yet. Are you sure, Holy Ghost? And they're everywhere. Sit down. How many of y'all felt this, the paws? <laughs> Why? Be honest. How many felt the paws? <laughs> didn't, didn't you feel it like? <laughs> Why? Because I released something in the atmosphere that changed how you felt about your chair. Stand up. The truth is, I'm not aware of any chair that has bad legs. The truth is, every chair is more than able. Now, sit down. You feel that? What, what we do? We shifted the atmosphere with words. That battleground's in that six-inch space between your ears. What is your confession? Because you can get back to the car. And as soon as you get in there, I don't know. Stand up. I don't know. Sit down. It's just that easy. Amen. How many of y'all second guess sitting in that chair? None of y'all did. It was an act of faith. Yes. This is weird. I've never done that before. <laughs> Not that many times. I'm starting to have a little fun with it. Amen. This is this is as active as some of y'all been all week. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, you are healed. I'm telling you, you are delivered. It'll be up to you to guard your eye gate. It'll be up to you to guard your ear gate. Because who and what you allow to speak into you matters. Amen. Is this all right? I don't want this to be just a nor normal Arkansas miracle hub service. Just yada, yada, yada. Just going through the motions. My little boy's at football practice. I could be home watching him kick a quarterback's butt. <laughs> did I say butt? Did. They're used to it. They're used to it. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> See, get doc, get doc stuff and put it in your ear gate. Surround yourself with the Word of God. Because it is true. Always. Amen. Stop saying, if it be God's will to heal me. He settled that on the cross. Can I come back and do this again sometime? How about tomorrow? <laughs> This feels powerful, doesn't it? Yes, amen. amen. Before we go, before we go, and I turn this back over to, to Doc. Yes. Um, come here, come here, Robert, real, real quick. Hurry, hurry. Y'all, please put your hands together. Welcome my, my guy, Robert Wine. Real, real quick. Steve McEwen, Bishop, love you, Doc. Amen. He actually produced this record for me. What you gonna do? My story changed. If I can only bring you back, it's on this record right here. If you like songs like "I Love You More," um, ain't no whiskey worth that. 
It's on this one right here. If you like songs like Keep the Change, Living Right, it's on this one right here. And they're $1,000 a piece. <laughs> yeah, you got to come see him. He'll give you the deal. Uh, this, I recorded this at Abba's house. I uh, had the privilege of preaching there on a Sunday morning. God gave me a word called the Cora Incident. Uh, there's a DVD of me singing and preaching and a CD of me singing and preaching. Listen, uh, the, the, the DVD won't work in your CD player. <laughs> Oddly enough, the CD won't work in your DVD player. All right? So uh, we've only got about five or six of these, maybe, something like that out there. Our, our CDs are one for 18 uh, two for 20 or you can get all of them for $30. I don't want to have to put anything back in that suitcase and put it on the, the airplane, all right? Um, we, we're a lot like Dr. Middle, uh, Miller. Uh, we're partner-based ministry. We travel all over the country. And, and if you want to participate in that, uh, get with your pastor. And, and if he says it's cool, come see us. And if it doesn't say he's cool, it's cool, uh, then support him. Amen. Amen. I honestly just said something right there. Right. And, and so... Uh, our, our partners partner for as little as $10 a month, and, and you can help us. Um, I'm not the guy that goes overseas. God has called me to America, uh, and you may find me at a fair. You might find me at a campground. You might find me doing secular shows. What am I talking about? On With secular artists, and they bring me in to do the gospel music portion. I'll show up in a ball hat, T-shirt, and I sing just like I sang tonight. That's cool. So we call that domestic missions because we're doing it here at home, and we're doing it through our media, uh, through music. We're doing it through uh, media. We've started a podcast called The Tony Allen Bates Show, and um, I've got to figure out what the budget is to get him to come and, and be on my show, but we'll, we'll work that out privately amongst us. <laughs> it's been a privilege to be here tonight, and, and I just want to say, all my life you have been faithful. Sing it with me. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. With every breath that I am able, I will sing Come here. of the goodness of God. Well, thank you. I love you, brother. Bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Tony. And I'll, I'll be... I'll be on your podcast for the same price that I always minister for you for, and that's free, so <laughs> stay on your feet. Let me give you this heads up. Next month, we are right at the Feast of Tabernacles when it's time to have this hub, and so we're moving it to Friday night because that's the first night of Sukkot, first night of Tabernacles, so it won't be on Thursday. Be on Friday night, the 29th, and Dr. Ron Phillips, our apostle, this great man of God, has been ministering 55, 56 years now. He just turned 76, and he's still the smartest preacher I know and the most anointed. When he comes, I'm just telling you this, um, I don't know what he'll speak on, but there is a manifestation of angels all every time he goes anywhere. He, he, carry, he travels with an angel named Noble that goes with him everywhere. And so th there'll be angelic manifestations. There's no question in my mind when he comes. So he'll be here on Friday night, the 29th, the first night of Tabernacles, 6.30. His wife, Pastor Paulette, who is one of the greatest Bible teachers I've ever heard in my life, She'll be speaking on Saturday morning at 10.30. And then Dr. Todd Zeiger will be Sunday morning at 10.30. So we're going to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. So next month, the Miracle Hub is moving to Friday night. Keep that in mind, and we'll be putting all that out there for you. I know you're going to want to go by and meet Pastor Tony and buy his stuff, and, and I guess you're going out there. And... Uh, 
Now, he, he don't he need to have a 30-minute conversation with you because he needs to talk to everybody, so don't hog him from everybody. And um, you don't have any problems to talk to him about because you said you got healed, so Amen. hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So why don't you make your way on out there, Tony, and we're, we're going to... There's an offering basket at the back. If you want to make out a check, make it out to the Edge Church. If you want to give online, DwayneMiller.com. Go to the tab that says Edge, and you can sow online. You can give by text at 501-237-5676. It costs money to bring him here. He lives on a budget, ministry budget. Everything you give is going to that ministry. And uh, if you don't give enough, I'm going to add to it because I believe in taking care of people. I don't cheat God's people. I treat them like royalty. And he'll be well taken care of. So uh, pray about what the Lord wants you to sow directly into his ministry. Make your check out to us. We'll write him one check. And uh, we, I promise to take real good care of him and Kara and his family. And um, he's going to go to Life Church in Charleston, Arkansas, Sunday morning. And uh, that's where our, Dr. Caldwell and I just ministered two weeks ago for Pastor Terry Scott. And then he's going to be in Poto, Oklahoma at Covenant Church on Sunday night. And then he'll be flying back to pray for him. He lives in the, right outside the swamp. He flies into Washington, Dulles Airport, Washington, D.C., and lives in North Virginia. And uh, when he and Robert got off the airplane today and they sucked in that 102 air, they thought they were in hell. I said, welcome to Arkansas. Arkansas summers. People in this state die and go to hell. It's their own fault, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't miss Sunday. I'm telling you, this is, a, this is one of the most dramatic words. I have a prophetic word to go with this message Sunday on crossing over. And I may, I'm praying about, I may actually play uh, Pastor Tim Sheets' word that he read on Flashpoint because it is unbelievable. And... Um, so lift your hands and receive the blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you. His countenance be with you and be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Nothing broken, nothing missing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And if you're leaving here tonight totally healed, say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Be blessed. See you Sunday. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope the music and the message shared by our friend Tony Allen Bates has been a blessing to you. Remember, every episode of this program, plus this full, uninterrupted Miracle Hub service, is available to watch on demand at vtntv.com or on your YouTube, Rumble, and 220 Roar channels. Be blessed, and be sure to join us next time right here on VTN.